Hey there, it's Patmos and nice of you to join me for another brand new series, this time Foundation. A pretty big update come out, we already did a little bit of streaming on it, but now it's time to just get going with a whole new series. So let's load up a new game. Oh, I'm not really sure which map to do, but Coastal and Fluvial we have done quite some time. So I think we should go for the valley and let's confirm. We don't want any mods yet, we're just going to try out this whole new... Um, set up the new interface and show you how it's done or at least how I do it and then we'll see the new beginnings well let's hear your advice we want the advice series to follow it so let's go here we see your first territory the first pieces of advice piece of advice comes from the eldest of your villagers he suggests you're basically you'd consider basic needs when settling down berries for your people stone and wood for your construction effort the rest will find its way well we're going to put that into practice we're going to zoom out here we see the water we see a lot of nice land and what we want to do is find a place with a lot of arable land that we can actually build on uh, we would like to get some mountains close by for some natural resources that we need. Um, and I think, well, this whole patch here is good. We're going to need a few bridges, though, at a certain point. But if we take a look at this, for instance, we can see right here we have berries. I just don't know if we have stone and I can't actually see it. Um, so let's go check what can we do. Um, we should now be able to, to find more minerals. Well, here we have minerals, of course. Um, but it doesn't check the stone, so that's not really working. But if we take a closer look, we can see that, um, well, quite a few nice things. All we need to do now is find a starting place. Now, this could be a starting place. We have stone, we have berries, we have some place to expand. We have some extra berries here and we can get across to this patch soon. Um, I would just like to take a look into these forests, see if there's any stone. So let's go completely down. As you can see, we can watch underneath the trees. That's how detailed this game is. I really like it that we can zoom in that far. But if we just check, I don't see any stones. So let's get back up. We need to find a different place to settle down. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with this place then. Here we have all that we need. So let's buy this. Um, it's a pretty small place, but it's a start. So let's go. Let's place the uh, city center. I think we should place it a little bit uh, in this area. Uh, maybe a bit up here. Yeah, there it is, the city center. All right, well, a new advice can be heard. Organizing work. The second piece of advice comes from a young, enterprising villager. Rather than simply letting everyone fend for themselves, she suggests you organize laborers to workplaces. Builders are in their workshop, woodcutters in their lumber camp, and berry gatherers at their hut, and so on. All right. Let's build a builder's place so that at least we can start to create a few buildings. Um, let's see if you hit the control button. You can just move your mouse and it will rotate. We'll place it somewhere right here. Let's go. Let's build it. Let's put two builders in it for now. So at least we can go get some buildings done. And let's see. We can get a lumber camp right now. Um, I think we should build that close to this patch because here's a lot of wood. So we'll build it right here out of the way of the city center because the red circle indicates that, well, people don't really like to live close to it. But yeah, here we go. Let's speed things up a bit. And the um, extraction zone can be painted so that as soon as the lumber camp is done, they can actually start to take down all these trees we also need to take down all these trees of course so there's a lot of zoning to be done but there we go first steps are done let's just build it now put in two workers i think well we start off with 10 villagers so that's okay we can put in two and maybe later on um add a few extra of course or remove one if we really need it but we'll see uh, for now this is good um, so yeah, we just have to wait. There it goes the builders again. And then after the structure is done, we can get the next quest and um, we can continue. 
just takes a little bit of time. There we go. Two woodcutters. And... Well, we already did most of the missions because we already set the extraction zones and stuff like that. So now we need to produce berries. And the fun thing I like about this is gradually things get more interesting. So now it doesn't say build a berry a gatherer and a granary and this and that. Now we have to think for ourselves. We'll just have to produce berries. Well, there comes the gathering hut. I think we also need a granary soon, but we can't place it yet. We'll have to wait for that until we can do that. But it'll be nice. So let's see. Uh, she's bringing 10 wood, I think. Or she should. Or Alwyn, I don't know. Probably a guy. And now we'll have to wait for the builder to build it. And then we can start to gather some berries. Now, as you look around and you've watched my previous uh, playthrough, then you can see that a whole lot has changed. We now have progression. We have a lot of new things to unlock and to, to busy ourselves with. Um, so it'll be very interesting to see what we can do with this village. And I hope you'll stick around in the series to watch me develop this. And uh, maybe you can give me some hints and, and tr tips and tricks in the comment section. That will be very much appreciated. And let's see what we can make out of this village. Now the builder site is a little bit far away. So um, that, that takes from the building time. So if a builder goes there, it will start to build. And the further away it is, the shorter time they will take to actually do some building. So that might hamper the construction a bit, but later on it will be fine. Let's put in two foragers for now. And as you can see by the little exclamation mark that now something else unlocked uh, or at least the um, we unlock the warehouse ourselves of course and I think once this is done produce berries we get the granary yet yeah, this one is done a new advice can be heard now that you have organized your laborers you can see to their needs and happiness make sure that they have access to fresh water and housing as for food, you will first need people to store and distribute the berries they collected. From there, your village will have everything to welcome the first wave of immigrants. All right, so let's see. We're going to build a granary to collect and store all the berries. I'm going to place it on this side. Um, so let's do that. And for that, we need stone. And we're not getting any stone yet. So let's build a stone cutter near to this stone patch to actually start getting us some stone. Now it also said, it's not in here as you can see, but it also said we need to make sure that we have a fresh water source. For that we would need a well, but that's something that we can't build yet. So even if you want to go too fast, you can't because not everything is unlocked yet. So keep that in mind. Don't try and go faster than the tutorial. It will help you around and tell you what to build, when to build, and it will just keep a few buildings locked in as well. All right, let's just prioritize this one. So they're not just bringing... Ah, oh, they already brought most of the goods there. We really need them to finish this and start collecting stone. Um, we don't have anywhere to store the stone yet and the maximum storage capacity in most buildings is 50. But I guess that's fine. Um, we don't really need that much more at this point. So uh, it will all be okay. Later on, we will build storages and other things. You can see we already have 35 out of 50 stored in the lumber camp. So that's quite good. We have some lumber to spare. And now we'll just wait till they build the uh, stone cutter. All the goods are there. So that's good. And then we can start collecting stone and build a granary. Now right now we are running at speed 3, which is the fastest speed. And we'll have to do a little bit of waiting in the beginning. But I can assure you later on... Speed 3 might even be too fast and you will slow it down because there's just so many things happening at a certain time. So many things taking into account and taken care of. But that's just not for now. All right, well, our lumber guy is doing a great job bringing down trees. They're building the stone cutters camp now. Now, since it is quite far away from the builder's hut, the time they have to build is already starting when they go and walk there. And by the time they get there, you can see it only did a little bit of work and now she's taking her time off. So it could help placing the uh, builder's hut right in the middle, 
but I want to save this space for housing. Um, but keep in mind, every time you build a builder's hut, place it near where you are going to construct the next couple of buildings, because that will speed up the building time. So you, you don't have to wait that long, because they don't have to walk all that far. And that's taken off the time that they actually start building here. So uh, that can really help. Now, I don't really mind that it takes a little bit longer. I'm fine with that. Now it's done. Let's get two miners in. We should see that we probably have only one person. Yeah, we have only two persons unemployed now. So we need to put at least one in a granary. And we also need to place one in a market stall once we get to the market. So we'll have to wait. Now, the granary is not done yet, so we can't assign a transporter and we cannot assign the berries yet to the granary. But the first stones are being produced and the builders can soon pick them up and bring them to the granary to actually work on the granary. That will be great. Yep. They're totally bringing four stones now. This one is bringing two and the other one is also bringing two, as we can see. Yes, just one more stone. And that's into the stone camp now, so they can bring that. Yep, Paterna is now bringing the last piece of stone. All we need now is finish the granary. Hmm, I'm curious to see what it will look like. Well, I already know, of course, but it's just a fun looking building that I enjoy watching. There they go, they will start to build it soon. Yep, Builder Alwyn is assigned. There she is, starting to build it. I really like the animation. They really thought that through. And really nice that slowly you can see the building take shape. And now Builder Paterna is coming, doing her part of the job. Really pounding it. But well, it's constructing. All right, they're all going to the uh, patch now for some free time. They all have their spare time. I'm on my free time. Well, that's nice. No food, no water yet, but we'll get that to them. It would be very helpful to finish the granary. Now, one of the things you might notice is they need to get back to the builder's workshop. And from then, their work starts. So they're not just coming in from the city center, going straight to their job again. They need to visit their workplace first, and then they can continue to do the job. All right, here we go. Almost done. There we are. Let's place one transporter and set this to be berries. And now the mission is done. Great. Buy a new territory and paint a residential zone. All right, well, the question is which territory should we buy? We can get it for free. Um, I think there's a lot of space in this one. Um, but I'm not sure because this is where the city center is. So we want to expand this way as well. Uh, but there's no goods in here. So we're going to go this way mainly for the berries. No, we're going to go this way, sorry. Uh, because I want to set the residential spaces up. And I want them not to be building in this red patches. So I want them to start building houses right here. So we'll do it like this. This is good. Now we can also start to work on a market stall. Select a function, a market stall court. Well, here we go. We'll place one market place and put a tent over it because the tent will give you an extra storage capacity and that's really important. So now they can really store um, 20 extra parts and we really need that. So let's build it like this. Create the market stall. Once it's done, we can start to sell some food. Now we also need a well for some uh, water supply. I placed that in the middle of the city square. I think that's always a nice place. And now we have a few um, building options open. So this will take some time because the houses need to be built. We can already see that they're constructing a house here, which is good because this is close to the building place. So they should be achieving that fairly quickly, but they need to build I think around three or four houses. They need to build the market stall now. They need to build the well. So it will take a little bit of time for all these buildings to actually be produced uh, with only two builders. So I think we might just add an extra builder to speed things up a bit. We have one worker that's free. 
And we can change out that worker to be the market stall owner and sell the berries soon. Uh, we're just not going to do that right now. Ah, we can see the first house is done. There's another one being built here. Very nice. Ah, it's already bringing 10 wood. Well, we need to get to 100% happiness. And for that, we need to f um, cater to their needs, which is comfort, a house, food, the berries, and water, the well. So it, I don't really mind that they're building the houses first and not just the market stall or whatever. We'll get to that anytime soon anyway. So, um, and everything needs to be built. So let's just keep them going. Another house will be done. Yes. Great. I believe they're building a house somewhere here as well. And here, so probably four houses. Yeah, right here, five houses even. Interesting. Ah, there's only two people in one house and we have 10 people. So five houses to be built. And a well, and this, well, we'll see. I'm going to paint an extraction zone here as well. To get rid of these trees and we might even uh, get an extra lumberjack soon. Ah, and we have stone here too, that's nice. Ah, we might take good use of that and remove the stone industry here uh, soon so that we can use this for building as well, for housing. Because they really don't like the um, red area here because of the stone. So that might be one of the options. Very interesting. All right, 10 wood is being brought in. Now they're starting to build. Well, it is taking their time. Let's rotate like this so we can see. But yeah, their house comes together. Uh, they're not bringing the wood yet to the other houses. So they're really taking their turns in construction. Now build that Enrique is assigned. She will continue the building. Yep, yeah, there she is. The house is done. Perfect. Are they already bringing wood to another house? Not seeing that so far. Might also be that they will start the well now. Yeah, they're bringing stuff to the well. So they take distance into account. So from their building place, these were the closest by. So they built those first. Now they go to the well and build that. Um, so that's also something that you need to keep in mind. Um, it does matter how far things are away from the builder site. And they will start to build the closest things first. So... Um, it's not like you start to place buildings in a certain order and they will build them in that order. If you want something to be prioritized, you need to prioritize it. If not, they will start with the closest building and then continue outwards. So keep that in mind. Well, they're preparing this building site, so they're taking the trees away. Soon some wood can be brought in while they're already building the well too. And uh, then we'll see. See, one is bringing wood here, the other one is building the well. The well is done now. So having three builders really does speed things up a bit. I'm curious now to see whether they will build this house first or the, um, the market. We do have a little bit of clothing or cloth. Uh, cloth, it's, yeah, cloth to uh, finish the, the market, so that's good. And yeah, I'm hoping it will build the house soon as well. We really need that house. And of course also those workplaces. We have three builders now, yes? So you would say that they should be able to, to already bring goods to... Uh, ah, yeah, they're bringing wood here now. So um, now first they're going to build the market stall and then this one will be built. All right, four out of five houses are done. It's really taking shape now. And all the village water needs can be fulfilled already. We can see there's only a 3% need now. So somebody needs to take a drink and that will disappear. Um, so that's good. We can see the market stall already coming together a little bit. All the goods are there. Enrique is now building it. Oh, only a very short piece. And then we'll see. Um, nobody building yet? No. Well, if two builders are at the building shop at the same time, one will start building here and the other one should be bringing the goods here, so that'll be interesting. Ah, they're now building together. Nice. 
Well, one just did two hammer pounds. And now this one is really taking an effort to build the um, market stall. It's not going to be completed, but well, it's nice. Getting there, so that's cool. And I really like the design. Ah, uh, that one was drinking. We can see nobody has a water need anymore. There, we see some construction again, and that's done quickly. Oh, well, just taking a zip there from the well. And now waiting for a builder. This does give you the time, of course, to look a bit around and see what's out there and what you can do and stuff like that. Um, but it will... I'm not going to do that right now because I already know most of the things. But you can just look around the map, see where there's uh, nice places you might want to go to. So I want to go to this zone at a certain point for the berries. We might even want to go here for the um, stones. Good thing is we have a few fish patches close by. And our market is done. Now let's go here. Let's see. We can see the different jobs here. And we can also see that this is the builder we assigned last. And I'm going to get rid of that one and put it into business as a market tender. It will now go to the market. We'll still have to set what we are going to sell. We are going to sell berries. And as soon as this market tender person is out of free time, it will tend to the market. It, it might take some time because it was building as a build. Yeah, there it is. So see, you can change jobs as well. You will lose all the experience, of course. Um, so if we go check, we can now see it's a market tender level one and there's no experience yet while the builders are already at a higher level so that's something that will happen now let's see we need to encourage immigration all our villages need a job and happiness needs to be a hundred and we can get up to happiness 100 by providing everybody with food so we should see everybody visit this stall buy some food and then happiness will start to run up and we can see as soon as they visit we can see that the happiness goes up just a few more need some food and then we will be at 100%. I think just one more. And then we can really uh, start to attract new immigrants. Which will be great. Can't wait for them to arrive. And we still have plenty of jobs available. So we can easily give them jobs. A newcomer is approaching the village. And there's two coming actually. Because well we have perfect happiness. So let's hear a new advice. A business minded villager suggests you... Establish a trade route with your closest neighbor, Northbury. This will let you sell resources for profit and import the ones that you can't produce. We should start with planks since Northbury needs those. All right. So what do we need to do? We need to acquire a warehouse. Well, we already got that one. We need to build it and we need to assign planks to the warehouse. But we're not producing planks yet. So that's the part we will have to think ourselves. We need to build a sawmill and start producing some planks. Um, but the problem is, I don't want to start those industries right here because it's a little bit close to town, I think. We're going to do it anyway because we really need to, but it would have been great if we could start this business somewhere else. But right now we'll just have to do it. Uh, I don't think we can buy another territory for free, no. So that's not going to happen and we don't have the money to buy one. Could establish it here. But I don't think that's the way to go. Um, ah, and there's the new villagers. Well, you guys can come in, no problem. So we're going to build a sawmill to um, get me the planks that we need. And we need a storage, in this case a warehouse, to store all our nice goods, of course. Now we're going to build the storage right here. And this one will be moved at a certain time as well. But for now, we just need to start here. We have limited space and we just have to use it as good and wise as we can. Well, we can get rid of a bit of the extraction zones here. Um, ooh, this is not good. We need to do it like this so that they can really use all the bushes. Um, they got rid of the trees here as well. So this zone can go. And now we'll have to wait. And give these two newcomers a job, of course. Uh, we can really see right here how many jobs we need in a certain workplace. Or how job much jobs we have available. I want an extra forager. And I want an extra woodcutter for now. To give us all the wood that we are also going to need in the sawmill. 
Now, if more new villages arrive, we might even get an extra builder and uh, work on things like that. But for now, I want to prepare for the time when we do get... Ah, we get two new villages in. That's really, really nice. And um, I think that we need at least two villagers in the sawmill. We need to put villagers in the warehouse, of course. So we're going to need quite a few more villagers. But that will be fine. Now we already unlocked the wooden or the um, storage. We did that. We have also some money to unlock the wooden bridge. And we need to get across the river anytime soon. Uh, we're not going to unlock the bailiff yet because we don't need him. Now we can name our village. And of course, I would like to name my village as usual, Potmosia. If you have a better name, please feel free to do so. Let's confirm and save. I'm not going to give myself a lord's name. I'm going to leave that up to you guys. So feel free to leave any suggestions for a lord's name in the comment section. And I will put it in. So we'll see. There come the new villagers. So let's accept them soon and give them a job if we can but I, yeah we want at least one extra builder so let's put one in the building business and maybe get an extra transporter in a granary but we don't really need it let's get an extra miner now you do want to give them a job because if um, employment is one of the um, factors for immigration and if people don't if workers don't have a job then you will lose the attractiveness for immigration and less people will come in. So make sure you put everybody into a job if you can, because it will increase the amount of immigration you get. Now, if you don't want any immigration, that's possible as well. Just open it up and click this button here. Then it will disable immigration. Um, so that's a thing that you can easily do if you want, don't want immigrants for a while because, well, you just get too high an influx and you can't provide them with jobs all the time and you want to keep happiness up high. Just click that one. That's totally fine. You can click it anytime, so you can enable it anytime as well. Uh, just make sure that you um, make good use of it. And if you want immigrants, keep your villagers as happy as you can and give them all a job. That really helps to speed up the immigration process. All right, so we need planks in here, but we don't have any. We already knew that. That's why we're trying to build the sawmill. All the resources are here. So we'll have to wait for it to finish. And after that, we can put villagers in here and make sure that they will um, create all the planks that we might need for the um, warehouse, of course, but also for future buildings. We're going to have a big need for planks in the future. So... Uh, don't hesitate by getting the plank builder building because we're going to need it. All right, let's make this a bit of nicer circle. Waiting for a builder. Well, we have three, so they should be able to do some building soon. They've also been building a few houses or at least upgrading one because this is now one where we can have six and make sure that you keep enough uh, space in for housing. So, um, for instance, here's the market going to be. So I'm opening up this space for housing as well. And keep increasing that space because it, you might run out of space. So this might totally be filled up with houses. And then you're going to need more. So keep building these extra spaces. We can see that this house will now be upgrading too. Instead of two, it can then house six people. That's very good. I'm going to want them to focus on this, though. I want this done first and then the house. And now we have one free villager. One of the interesting things you can do, this one is unemployed. We can already tell him to be a carpenter. We don't have the sawmill yet. Ah, it's done now. So it will start to work here immediately. But at least then he has a job. So that's good. We have no unemployment. The first carpenter is coming in and we are starting to produce our first planks. Well, we're going to need 15 alone to just work in the um, warehouse. But it'll be fine. It'll be interesting to see um, how quickly we can build the warehouse and how fast this will go. It is actually doing some building now. I think we get two planks at one go. So that should go rather quickly, especially if we get a few extra villagers in, of course. That would really help to speed that production up. Well, we get two new villagers soon, so that's helpful. And uh, this house is almost done. 
Everybody has, still has a place to live. We can see that they need some comfort, but that's a place to live that we're getting. And we need service, which could be a church or something like that. We're not building that yet, but we will be able to do that soon. And then we can get happiness up to 100% again. Well, first four planks are brought. Everything looks nice and runs smooth. So we have created ourselves a little start for our village. So I'm going to slow things down. It's been over half an hour. So thank you very much for watching and stopping by to, to get to this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave any comments in the comment section. And don't forget to tell me the name of the Lord that you want ruling this town. I will check that out and, and implement it. And then, of course, I hope to see you in a new video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.